Hey guys, welcome to thepixelab.net. How's your day going today? I am really excited today, mostly because it's Friday, but partly because this tutorial will blow your mind. So I have this awesome model here. Uh, this is the one that I posted the other day, so check it out, it's a free model. Um, yeah, so if we go to our project settings, if we go to effect, cell renderer, this is the gold that I'm gonna show you today. This is awesome stuff. So if we um, hit render, this will be the default settings for the cell render. And what cell render is doing is basically making lines on the outside of your object. The real cool part is when you check on edges here. So let's check that and hit render. And now you can see that it's making a black line on every edge, which is really cool. So there's a couple other basic options in here, color. So if we go ahead and put our texture on here, so then you can see that we're getting the color texture coming through as well. And uh, you can always just play around in your color channel too and do some interesting stuff. I mean, you could do luminance, throw that on there. And uh, if you do a Fresnel shader, that will kind of vary up the color so that whatever's facing towards the camera will not be affected by the Fresnel. And uh, whatever is kind of facing away from the camera will be affected. Um, so if we wanted to do, instead of going from white, we can maybe do um, just some kind of random color here. If we throw that on there, you can see we're getting a lot of different color variation. And you can come up with some really abstract and fun designs with this. Um, another really good use for this would be uh, architecture stuff, right? Um, all the structural elements, kind of being able to see the wireframe, it's very good for architecture. And then, you know, whatever else you wanted to use. I mean, sci-fi, you could use it as some kind of rotating object on a, a HUD display, stuff like that. There's a lot of possibilities. If you guys have the sketch and tune module, um, you probably won't need the cell renderer very often. Cell render is basically just a very tiny sampling of what sketch and tune can do. Um, but if you don't have that module, then cell renderer is really, really helpful. That's it for me, guys. Thanks for checking it out. And uh, thanks for checking out all these uh, shorter videos that I'm putting out for you guys. I hope that they're useful, that you're finding some ways to speed up your workflow and uh, find some new techniques. And uh, yeah, keep checking back to the website, thepixellab.net. I got lots of fun stuff coming up, really cool stuff that I'm excited to share with you. So check back. We'll talk again soon. Bye, everybody.